Selecting large groups of data in Microsoft Excel has many people tearing their hair out. I don't know how many of you have ever tried to select a column of data. Maybe you get down to, you're highlighting, you're scrolling down, you get down to about row 150 and then all of a sudden you're at row 5000. Well, there are some keystrokes you can use that will help move you around a little bit more quickly and make that process a whole lot less frustrating. So let's say I want to just highlight this column. If I start at the top, position my cursor at the top, and press Control shift in the down arrow key, it highlights all of my data. So you'll notice I've highlighted that whole column in one click. If I press Control shift in the right arrow, or the arrow that goes to the right, it highlights all of my columns in that data set. Notice how many columns that was. It was quite a few. And you can see that it makes it pretty easy. Another area that makes can be kind of challenging and when you're trying to do the same thing is let's say I want to just highlight the data underneath say 2004 or 2005. I can do that, I can start here and go control shift down but when I do the over it goes over too far. If I want to select just one of these columns though, there's a way I can do that. Because the year is merged and centered above the columns that I want to select, all I need to do is click on that merged and centered year and press my control shift down arrow key. And notice how it highlights just the data that's underneath that merged and centered grouping. I can do the same over here. Click on the merged and centered cell, control shift down arrow, and it highlights just that group of data.